Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. I'm here with my brother Gabe. Hello. And in this episode of Mattressology, we are going to talk about the five myths with mattress shopping and just mattress in general. So let's go. There's a lot of myths with mattress shopping. We yep. got people coming in all the time and just like, they come up with these preconceived ideas and notions and that really hinder us from doing our job properly. Yep. And it kind of just pigeonholes them in looking for the right mattress. So we thought we would address this, these, at least these five myths um, for mattress shopping, just to make it a little bit easier for you and just try to like dispel those, those misconceptions. Yeah, a lot of times it's like questions or statements that they would make and it's, like a lot of repeating ones. The problem with that is that it, it just it limits the, their options when looking for a mattress. Yep. You know, because I've seen it many times. I don't know, I'm sure you've probably seen it mm -hmm. too, where, you know, customers come in, they have a bet. Do you know it's like the right one for them? They like it, but they have this preconceived idea that it's not the right bet for them because right. they read it online or their neighbor. Even their chiropractor doc or doctor has recommended something that wasn't the right one for them. Without further ado, myth number one, Gabe. All right, so the first myth that we hear a lot is, Firm mattresses are better for your back. First of all, like, look at our, our body size. I guess maybe we're kind of similar, right? But you know, if you get, you know, someone like myself, and you get like someone that's like six foot three, 250. You see the movie you know, Twins? I'm Arnold, he's DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, different body types. A firm mattress is not gonna be better for everyone's back. It all really depends. Some people it will, some people it won't. The true test though, you gotta see is, is he giving you the right support? and also pressure relief at the same time. Yes, so ideal support is, you know, if you're sitting straight, you know, and you're in a relaxed position, we all have a curve to us. Especially if you're a back sleeper, we all have a curve to us. So- Front curve people, and a back curve, you know? I, <laughs> well, I'm working on the front curve. Yeah, I, I have a, a custom mattress for my stomach when I sleep on my stomach. Perfect support is if you get the mattress molded to your back, you know, and then that's essentially what you want, just want the mattress to do is just have it molded to your back. You know, just don't pay attention to this curve. Pay attention to this curve. You Unless know, you're a stomach sleeper. Stomach sleeper, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, stomach sleeping, you gotta be careful with that. And, you know, that's a whole nother video, but yeah, that can be problematic for you. But if you're gonna sleep on your stomach, then I would say, yeah. I would say yeah. for a mattress would be the way to go. But I don't recommend sleeping on your stomach. Mm -hmm. so that's the myth number one that we usually hear. You know, the, a, a firm mattress is all, is going to be always better for your back, and that is not true. I see this all the time with couples. They're always looking for the thickest mattress. So the second myth or misconception is the thicker the mattresses are better. All and, the time, yes. Yes, yeah, so and I see people they buy they buy with their eyes, and that's mm -hmm. one reason why that myth is so prominent. Is because we all buy with our eyes. I mean, if you see a mattress made. 40, 50 years ago, they're a little bit thinner, you know, mm -hmm. compared to mattresses made today. You know, got these 15, 16, 17 inch mattresses. I've seen even 20 inch mattresses. Yeah, they look lux more luxurious. They yeah. have a lot more better story, you know, for the salesperson to talk about. However, why are they not better? Yeah, I mean, here, let me just show the reason why. I'll bring up uh, a coil, right? Here's a pocket of coil. This is the reason why we don't like mattresses that are too thick. This is in our opinion that, right, it's gonna be, you know, less is more, but you know, imagine, you know, you've got, you know, just stacked with different phones, right? Because the coils are usually going to be only up to a certain, you know, thickness. And then, you know, if you get a 15 inch thick mattress, it's piled on with different layers of usually foam. You know, this is a two inch layer, two inch layers, about one and a half. Um, usually it's not going to be like, you know, these thick of layers. It usually is one inch layers here and there, half an inch, quarter an inch. You know, maybe you get a two inch layer stacked in there. What happens, the more layers you have, the more likely there's gonna be chances for that impression. Yeah, there's more breaking that could, down. There's more that could go wrong in that bed. I say this almost every video, a lot of videos, but a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. Mm -hmm. So if it hit, one of these layers goes bad, then the whole mattress, like you could have the best latex in there. You could have the most highest quality density foam. If there's a defect in this foam right here, if this starts to go bad, everything else is gonna trickle up. Or another thing that happens is that you might be just a quarter of an inch dip, even an eighth of an inch dip on every la layer. If you have five, six, seven layers, that's pretty dang significant. Yeah. So there's just more that could go wrong. So they might feel amazing. And so, so really don't buy just by the thickness of it. That doesn't mean a better quality mattress. You know, there might be some quality materials in there, but it doesn't mean that thicker is gonna be better for you. This is where you want most of the back support to come from, is this support layer. Now it could be springs, it could be 
foam or latex, but the bottom layer is where you want most of it to come from. Five, six, seven, eight inches away from this, this is no longer supporting you. This is supporting you. And again, it might feel great at first for the first few months or year, but after that, these start to wear out quicker than this, and then that's you get that dip. Mm -hmm. So yes, a thicker mattress, you're gonna spend a lot more money on. There's a lot more um, to talk about in it, but it's not necessarily better. So our big philosophy has always been, what's our big philosophy? Less is more. Less is more when it comes to mattress construction. We do most of our beds with a higher quality layer like latex or really latex. And there's not a lot that could go wrong in the bed. And there's, you're still close enough to the support layer. So less is more when it comes to mattress construction. So that is myth number two. Yep. Myth right. number three. All right, myth number three is we hear it all the time. What size are you looking for? Oh man, I just give me your biggest mattress. It's the, uh, the Cal King mattress. They, a lot of times they think the Cal King is bigger than you know your standard king size mattress. I always get people coming, yeah, I want the Cali King. They come in, yeah, give me a Cali King. Yeah. You know, yeah, I want the big one. Well, he's my height. He's shorter than me. Five you two, know? five three and a <laughs> Yeah, and he wants a Cali King. You know, Cal Kings are longer, they're seven feet, but they're not wider. Good thing to think about in a Cal King is think of the state, it's long, California. There you go. Long state. Long and narrow. Long and narrow. And that's uh, like California King. It's longer and but narrower than uh, the standard King. Yeah. Regular King or Eastern King, some people call it Eastern King, is going to be wider, but a little bit shorter. I'm a more of an Eastern King guy, but California King is going to be longer and narrower. So 72 by 84, California King, 76 by 80 is a regular King. Yep. So Cal Kings are not bigger. Yeah. So. Myth number four is name brand mattresses are better. I mean, we do get this a lot. Just, uh, you know, some people find us online and they're just looking for a mattress store here in San Diego and they come into our store and they're asking, hey, do you guys have that Silly or the Tempur-Pedic or the Stearns and Foster? And just didn't put an S in front of it most of the time. They're already coming in with a preconceived, you know, thought that it's, hey, you know, I need to find that name brand because yes. I'm going to sleep better and we don't even have the chance to show them or explain the different materials of, uh, of what, how we make our mattresses. And, um, you know, they really miss out, right? By just putting themselves in that box of, hey, I need this name brand mattress. Not a specific one, just a I need name brand mattress. Yeah, I mean, this, this mattress, especially a lot of these online companies have done such a good job at marketing online that, you know, you want to get that name brand mattress. Here's the thing, there's a lot of money that is put into advertising with these name brand mattresses and that that money is taken from somewhere too. So doesn't mean they always have the best materials, doesn't mean they always have the best construction. Uh, they just are great at marketing. So you're gonna spend a, quite a bit more money on a name brand mattress or some sometimes even the quality could be compromised because we just, mm -hmm. we do a lot of these little um, mattress autopsy and out of your mattress videos where we dissect these name brand mattresses and you see a lot of where like corners are cut because especially about 10 years ago, I noticed, uh, maybe a little bit longer than 10 years ago, when a lot of these bigger companies started to, to consolidate. I don't want to name brand, name any names, but you know, the big three companies, they've all came to like, there's, they've all come together, mm -hmm. you know? If you could save 10, $20 on foam material or just material and mattress, that's millions and millions of dollars to their bottom line. And that's what I noticed when this consolidation happened, a lot of these name brands, the quality went down. You know, it's like you saw, I started to see more warranty issues. So name brand mattresses are not always better. You're going to spend a little bit more on those as well. So look for the construction mm -hmm. of the mattress and also the materials that are being made, used in the mattress. Yeah. And a lot of the times those companies, they're mass produced, right? With us, at least in our business, you know, it's made for the customer, right? Each individual. Yep. We uh, start making it as soon as we get that order and, and you know, it's all made directly for that, you know, specifically for that person. Yep. And the fifth one is, I mean, it's a big one we see is uh, mattress reviews. Oh, I saw on this mattress review site, um, they're open up this mattress or Consumer Reports was talking about. I always yeah. say, take them, take them as a grain of There's two reasons why. First of all, if you see a lot of these guys, these like review guys and they, they have a link, here, click on the link, get a, get a discount. Yeah. These guys are paid. Yeah. Mattress review sites, the vast majority of them are paid. Firstly, the YouTube views are getting a lot of money on, but the big one is they get these links and their marketing sites. We're gonna do a whole video on mattress reviews. Uh, I just gotta put it together. Some of these bigger companies, 
I'm trying to be careful with my words, but trying these bigger companies have bought these review sites. These bigger companies are behind these mattress review sites. It kind of goes back to like that first thing that we said, right? The firm mattress is better for your back. Well, you know, that person is reviewing this mattress saying, oh, it's the best one. It feels this, you know, I mean, one, he's got a financial incentive or she's got a financial incentive to, uh, to give that type of review. But also everyone's different, man. You know, you like a little bit of a firmer mattress than I like. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, it's, everything's gonna be a little, everybody's got a little bit different, uh, taste in, uh, in, in the field of mattress. Oh yeah. Like, you know, we have, our body types are different, you know, I'm obviously a little bit more, you know, portly. And this guy and is a little bit more not petite. You're not petite. No, 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 no not petite. I'm still portly too. <laughs> junior portly. Yeah. That's or the true. brother is a little bit more, a little bit more. He might be a little more petite. You have someone who's six foot three, two hundred fifty pounds. He's giving you a review of a mattress, how it, how he experienced it. But then you have a five foot four person reviewing this this mattress, and it means how is that any how is that helpful to this five foot four, yeah. hundred twenty pound person? It's like me. Um, reviewing this shirt and saying, oh, it's a little bit snug, a little bit tight. You're not going to like this shirt, you know, you know, don't buy the shirt. Yeah. Well, this guy's, you know, six foot two and, you know, and 120 pounds. And he might love the shirt. It might fit him perfectly, you know? Yeah. So mattress review sites, take them as a grain of salt. Also, most of those reviews, they haven't had them in a long, you know, for a long period of time yeah. as well. So you got maybe three, four, five, six years would be a good review for how long the mattress would last. So, mattress reviews, grain of salt. Take that grain of salt. Yeah. yeah. So those are the five big tips and myths that, I should say five myths that people come in believing mm -hmm. about mattresses or when they come mattress shopping. Now, there's a bonus tip for you, just- Bonus one. Yeah. All right, this bonus one is gonna be, cause we get this a lot. Yep. And these are all mattresses, but the other one is gonna be an adjustable base. Uh, we hear this a lot. The base feels good. It's nice, but I'm not in my 70s. I'm not in my 80s. I'm not in my 60s. Like they're, you know, like I'm not old enough to get an adjustable base. And, and that's, you know, I, I would say what most people that are buying adjustable bases now are in 30s yeah. or 40s. I read, right? a, yeah, I read a, st a study. I think it was done by Tepper Pedic. This was a few years ago that the number one demographic that was buying adjustable bases was in their mid 30s to mid 40s. Like that was like the 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 largest demographic that was getting into adjustable bases. And especially we've seen it like during the pandemic, during, you know, the shutdown, we were doing a lot more adjustable bases. And, you know, in that age range, a lot of people were doing everything in bed, but also there's, they're finding out there's a lot more health benefits with, with adjustable bases. Yeah. You know, not just watching TV, but you know, that's a big thing. And now a lot of people are like working in bed, playing with their phones in bed, reading, in, reading bed. in bed. So, but yeah, adjustable bases, they're not for old people. They're not hospital beds. You know, there's quite a bit different in um in um adjustable bases compared to a, a hospital bed yeah so that is our bonus myth number six so all right so i mean that's gonna wrap it up for those big ones that we see you know from customers right yeah um statements they make questions they said they they ask and um you know hopefully this this all this information was helpful and you know when you're shopping for your mattress you're like okay don't have to go just buy a firm mattress um, I see that really thick mattress. Okay, that's not necessarily better for me. Maybe I'm not gonna get a Calkeen mattress. I'm only five foot one. It's something like that, right? I mean, it's yeah. just like here. These are, these are just little tips that okay, you know help help you with your mattress shopping journey. Oh, you guys are on your mattress shopping journey. Do you guys have any questions? We put together a little mattress guide and it gives you tips on mattress shopping, mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. You guys can download it from the, from the link below or through our website. And, or if you have any questions, um, visit our website or just give us a ring. Give us a yeah. call and um, it's easy to find us online and hopefully we can help you. And hopefully this was useful and interesting for you. So yeah, thanks you so much for watching. Thank you.